Kevin Costner is hoping to capitalize on his popularity with his new two-part Western epic Horizon, while his tenure as director and actor with Yellowstone draws to a conclusion. Many thrilling and brand new blockbuster movies, including John Krasinski's If and David Leitch's The Fall Guy, starring Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt, will be hitting theaters in the summer of 2024. These movies range from well-known IP projects like Deadpool, Wolverine, and Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, to more innovative and original ideas like these. Nonetheless, out of all the films that will be released in the summer, one movie in particular, actually two films, represents a significant gamble for Hollywood. The first installment of Kevin Costner's Horizon, an American saga which consists of two films, will premiere in theaters in the second half of the summer on June 28th and August 16th, respectively, less than two months later. Having not directed a picture since 2003's Open Range, this will be Costner's first time back in the director's chair in almost 20 years. For Costner, this two-part cinematic event is a labor of love. He personally paid for a large portion of the film's substantial budget, even taking out a mortgage on his California house to do so. Although there are many things going against Horizon, there are also many reasons for hope with the double feature. In 2024, will Kevin Costner still be a movie star? A significant test of Costner's star power will be Horizon. He hasn't helmed a feature picture in for almost 20 years, and his popularity at the box office doesn't seem to be as strong as it was in the 1990s and early 2000s, even though he has starred in supporting roles rather than the lead in box office smashes like Man of Steel and Hidden Figures over the past 20 years, his filmography does not include those titles. In films starring Costner, like Criminal 2016, McFarland, USA 2015, and Draft Day 2014, he has not been able to gross more than $50 million globally on a consistent basis. All things considered, Yellowstone is a significant factor that might alter Costner's summertime fortunes. Costner has been the star of one of the largest television shows for just over five years, moving away from movies. With his portrayal of John Dutton in Yellowstone, Costner has seen a significant resurgence in his career. Television programs rarely achieve the kind of popularity that Yellowstone has, as the neo-Western drama series starring Taylor Sheridan has attracted consistently high ratings and an impressive viewership that keeps expanding. Even two separate spin-off prequels, 1883, starring Sam Elliott, Tim McGraw, and Faith Hill, and 1923, starring Harrison Ford and Helen Mirren, have been made as a result of this popularity, and numerous more are currently in development. However, the second half of Yellowstone's fifth season will conclude later this year, marking the end of Costner's tenure there. Horizon is his first serious attempt to bring that success back into a film setting. Though its audience does extend beyond those boundaries, Yellowstone has garnered attention for how successfully it has developed a devoted following among viewers in the Midwest and among conservative-leaning political figures, two groups that are getting harder for Hollywood to appeal to. Yet, movies that resonate with this audience have the potential to become huge breakout hits very fast, as seen by Top Gun, Maverick, and Sound of Freedom from the previous year. It's still unclear if Yellowstone's viewers will follow Costner and Horizon back to theaters. This is somewhat in doubt because some series fans have been left feeling let down by Costner's exit from the program. It surely doesn't help that reports that Costner left because he wasn't getting paid much, even though he has insisted that scheduling issues with the production of Horizon were the reason he left the popular show. Therefore, even though he has had tremendous success with Yellowstone on television, there is no guarantee that this popularity will carry over to Horizon, the two-part cinema release.